And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Fearsome Midrange. It's been a while since we've played this version. We've played the Fearsome Rally version a few times um, since the last time we played this. And while I thought it was okay, I never, I still was never really convinced that playing Rally, uh, you know, Relentless Pursuit, the name of the card, uh, was worth it over, and you know, splashing Demacia for that, was worth it over splashing PNZ for the removal spells, Thermogenic Beam, Mystic Shot, and get excited. And so we're going to go back and, and try this this deck, because it's been, um, up, I think it's like 19 days or so since last time we played it, something like that. But you know, we're going to have our Hecarims, our Rekindlers, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I want to play one Rasa at the top end. You know, other people, like we've seen a lot of like Harrowings and stuff like that recently. And people have just kind of stopped playing Rasa and kind of stopped remembering, like they've, people have forgotten about this card and how strong this card is. And I think that we're going to really be able to get people with this. Um, eight mana, seven, five. Uh, whenever we play it, kill the two weakest enemies if an ally died this round. I think we're going to be able to do that and uh yeah I'm, I'm excited about this rasa but anyway let's go ahead and give it a try fearsome mid-range let's see if oh, i need to go to play let's see if it's still good like i expect Okay, I wanted to do something real quick. Okay. Hecarim, Elise, Rekindler. We'll put those back for now. Keep the Glimpse Beyond. Glimpse Beyond can be good against you know, like a Fiora. wasn't a good it probably wasn't a good attack was it yeah trading away a lease like that that probably wasn't a good attack okay gotta get my head in the game I was thinking that they weren't gonna be able to be be blocking a lease but obviously they could Better if I still had a lease available. Dang, that's a lot of two ones. Just that. I think we let that happen. Black Spear, the 3 3. Mistrace. Hey Storm, good evening. 
attack. All right, Rekindler will bring back Elise. Uh, which will not... Which will not flip Elise. We need one more spooky spider. That we don't have right now. One banner, one destiny. Uh, that's really good. That's probably game. Batter him. Try me. Fall to our standard. Um. Come from the dark. This is probably game. I don't know. We'll see. They still just have a whole lot of cards. If this if this plays out exactly as is, they'll lose three creatures. I will lose four creatures. I'll lose everything but Rekindler. Kill Fiora. But still. Everything I've worked for. Alright, Hecarim. More Elise. What we fight for those who are they doing? They just let that happen? I could pass, but if I pass... You know, obviously, like, Deny is the only card they could have. Uh, darn, they do have Deny. The thing about passing is it gives them more draw steps to find Deny. I've got your back. Darn. I had my hopes up there for a second. Here, Valky. Hey, Yud. Darn, they had to deny. <laughs> oh, and ten. All right, there we go. Thought we had that once they took the four damage. I don't think they were ever going to tap out and us not, you know, us be able to play the deny, though.
These monster cards have gotten really popular today. Just the last couple of days, but yeah, today. Um, they're kind of everywhere. So they're going to mark of the Isles this to kill the protege and then Black Spear, the war chefs. So I get three for two. To... Oh. Uh, so we're left. They have. We both have four cards in hand and they have the two two. I'm not exactly sure of your question, Ravolki. Did, did you th think about breaking meta decks? Does Smell that? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that. Um, Like, is that supposed to mean like taking the the meta decks and and tuning them and making them a lot better? Making the dead deader. Or is that supposed to mean uh, new decks that are just really good and I guess break the meta game? So yeah, new decks. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, yeah, that's what I have been doing the last few days and everything. Um, I mean, like yesterday stream, like the the Demacia mid range and then the elusive burn. Um, I'm not sure how I want to play this. Guess we're gonna go here. Making new, not as serious decks. Yeah, like I, I have been doing that. Like Friday, I think was it Friday stream that we had had all new decks on Friday. Um, and then yeah, like the yeah, I mean that's I. That's that's exactly what I do. Like I'm gonna be, and you know I'll have 
new ones tomorrow and everything. Like I, that's what I do is I, I build new decks. So, so yes, yeah, so like that's that's definitely something that we're going to be doing, and continue to do, and that we have been doing. Right now, the Senna is the only thing that can block my fearsome units. I've got your back. That was a good card for them. I play this. Now you've gone and upset it. I am the blade in the darkness. Bite. Not so fast. I'm hoping they take enough, you know, I'm hoping they take six damage, which isn't very likely. Whoa. Hey. So that's what I'm hoping. But yeah, I, I hope I hope that answers it, Ravalki. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep on, you know, building new decks and innovating. And um, well, that's awesome. So now they have to have double deny to stay alive. Soldiers to me. Don't think they can have double deny. All right, one on one. So far on the day, we are seven and five, and we moved down from 157 to 182. So we moved down 20, 25 spots by after going seven and five. Ezreal. Ezreal with Shadow Isles. So Shadow Isles bringing like some life gain. Probably like the two five mana spells. Like, could have Ruination. Hey, hey Rez. How's everything going? I believe that's going to eat a Mystic Shot, which is why I led with it. That was a pretty good draw. Beyond. All right, now everything's four power. So they trade with the old chump lump. Just got done tutoring someone. Hop on, catch the stream. Thanks, Rez. Thanks for hopping on. 
but that's good. Got some, got some tutoring in. That's good. It's actually probably better for me just to play this other wraith caller. What do they got? So yeah, they just had spells, so like going straight to combat wouldn't have mattered against spells anyway. So I'm glad we played the other Wraith Crawler. Alright, take an eight down to nine. In the driver's seat. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. This game went really well for us. Attack! As far as direct damage, I just have the Mystic Shot right now but I'm expecting we're gonna be able to pick this one up we should be two and one after this get some more card draw go well they don't think they're gonna have counter magic or instant speed um, instant speed interaction for these mystic shots so or like counter magic or instant speed life gain oh uh, they could have instant speed life gain With drains. Come closer. I don't bite. So you know they get they could have like grasp of the undying. Withering whale. Alright, three mana, I don't think they can have anything.
All right, GG's. Two and one. Alright, back up to 136. We're above where we started the day at. So that's good. I've, I like this Ash Freljord deck, or like, sorry, the Ash Noxus deck. That's something I'm planning on making tomorrow after we get Ashes. Um, This is where I should be leading with Mist Mr. Eighth. A true Felyorian welcome. My arrow won't miss. All right, so next turn, you know, we can have the skitter. Is good. All right, they kill ours, we'll kill theirs. We're at six mana right now. Gosh, this feels awesome. I just don't really want to discard any of these. I guess I could have discarded the Mist Wraith. Yeah, I haven't seen too much Outriders in Constructed either, but Freljord does have a whole lot of good good creatures and could probably use that 4-drop. Wow, that card is awesome. Wow. Take the villages. <laughs> Keeping their battlefield clear is going to be really good for my Rasa. <laughs> and also we got this little 1-1. One, one. Oh, I guess they were tapped out, weren't they? So I could have just done that pre-combat, because I guess they were tapped out.
schön. Yeah, we might we might be able to get him with Rasa. That's what I'm hoping. Come on, play a creature. Play a creature. Oh, my creatures didn't die, though. Ross is not turned on. Ross wasn't turned on. is just frostbite all enemies okay we have another one of those that'd be bad that thing has overwhelm oh no I forgot that thing had overwhelm. I needed to just kill that. Okay, well I I got to entice yeah, I I did not realize that thing had overwhelm. That was that was my bad. I just completely forgot about that. I should have just thermogenic beamed it. Yeah. Got that from the Allegiance. That's my bad. That was my bad. I, sh I should have just used my Thermogenic Beam. I realized it a little too late after, after they attacked. Um... No, it doesn't have it doesn't have overwhelm normally. It got overwhelm because of that that allegiance card giving a plus three plus three and overwhelm. There's nothing to fear. Come closer. I don't fight. All right, so we get double trick. To sacrifice some spiders. This glimpse beyond. I 
guess that I guess that works. I mean, our, I know our creature's dying, but it is trading. Doesn't really seem like a great glimpse beyond target. bad. <clears throat> Alright, so we're still still at seven. me currently taking three or sorry going down to three taking four going down to three come on fight as one yeah they got me Yeah. Got me. I guess I need to sacrifice one of those spiders earlier. And just draw some cards. One I one I should have shuffled the I should have shuffled the glimpse beyond I should have mulliganed it. One. And then two, I should have used it earlier. Since we did have it. That was a couple of rough losses in a row. This is the kind of matchup where we do want the glimpse beyond where they're, you know, gonna be using a lot of removal and stuff. Yeah, no, I did not survive that. No. I was going to go up to eight with the drain, and I was taking nine trample. I pulled the string. So I was going to, I was going to die at negative one. Too many, yep, too many pump spells. I'm on it. Oh, that's a good one. We could use a bite. I like that eager apprentice. I think it's it's a pretty good card. It's a little worse in this matchup because of our fearsomeness.
Welcome to my humble estate. Create a random epic in hand. That's a good card. From the darkness. Show some respect. Intruder, get him. They're pretty good hands. They're gonna have some unit that's cost is re reduced by two as well. Epic. Hopefully not a good one. We'll bring peace to our world, whatever the cost. Ooh. Kitty Dexterity gifting out some subs. Yeah, Destructor. Yep, this is Legends of Runeterra. New card game that is awesome. So the primary edict, Skippe and FOMO and FUD. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Vile Feast is like the thing to discard, I guess. No, I don't I don't know what to discard. All the hand all my hand cards in hand are pretty good. I guess I'm gonna use this Vile Feast. I don't know what to discard. Is it a lease? Because this brings back a lease? Skitter. I guess I'm going to discard a lease. Playing Wraithcaller over Rekindler so that we can still have Glimpse Beyond available if they have removal. Try to keep our hand full. I guess I don't have Glimpse Beyond available now. Don't need it! I didn't have anything else! GG's! Three and three. Up to 296. So right now we are ten and or nine and seven. Nine and seven. So we've won two more than we've lost today. We started today at rank one fifty seven. We're now down to two ninety six. After going nine and seven. Tough. Any cool elusive rally decks? I have not really come across those two uh, combined together, elusive and rally. There's nothing to fear.
Um, that wouldn't be hard to put together, you know, like the elusive package is like all, you know, like you can have like the 34 elusive cards and then just play a few Demacia cards like Rally. And then like Prismatic Barrier. Good. No, I should have just attacked with the Elise instead of playing the Skitterer first. Hey, Bonin, I do not have any uh, social media things like Instagram. Yeah, they're definitely good in, in aggro, and definitely good like whenever, um, like if you can get ahead. Yeah, rally is you know it is a uh, you know, relentless pursuit is a pretty powerful card. So it may seem like playing Skitter is the thing to do here. But the problem with playing Skitter is then it goes back to them and then they can play Fiora, Lauren Duelist, and then kill my Elise and I have no protection for it. It's not like I have much protection. I mean... So that's not good. They'd have those. They grow up so fast. So instead, I can just untap, play another spider, make sure that we flip Elise. Basically, because of Repost, I can't I can't attack with Elise because of Repost. Because I want to flip Elise because I, I need to have Elise flipped so that whenever whenever they do kill it with their Challenger stuff, then we can, our Rekindlers bring back flipped Elises. Are there any budget control decks that are decent? Yeah. Don't have a barrier, don't have a barrier. No, that had the detain purify combo. So does that count as my least dying? 
for Rekindler. Like, I don't even know. Does anybody know how that works? I mean, it's not in play anymore, so it should be revived, right? What, did you think you were going to get Miley's? Return to us. Uh, I guess it doesn't. Well, darn. Um, I could probably, f let's see, I'll, I could look for a list for you, or like a budget control deck. I saw somebody, I think it was Swim, I think, playing a budget control. Maybe not. To the light. They're at nine. The light flickers. They come from the dark. Such naivete. I'll stop you. Yeah, nobody revived a champion. I had they didn't have a champion, so it does make sense they didn't revive one, but I had an Elise that they stole with Detain and then purified their thing so I didn't get my my creature back. Heart and sword for Demosse. That heart's good. Just need to do a little bit more damage for this get excited the to finish it out. No, you detain and then you then you silence it so then they never so the the creature never comes back. Mm, a delicious challenge. All right, just need Is no removal and moves. no life gain. Good, no removal. Then they shouldn't really have instant speed life gain. I don't think they're playing Shadow Owl cards that have instant speed life gain. There we go, four and three. Yeah, I am. I am legitimate. Taking a taking a break, but um, this game is the real deal, and I don't know. Maybe sticking with it. Uh, this new game from Riot that's been out for about six weeks now. It is quite awesome. Uh, if you haven't checked out Legends of Runeterra at all, I wrote about it a couple weeks ago. 
why I why I like it more than magic. Not really, uh, attack ace, not really. Okay, let's see. What? What, Harvey? What are we playing against? Okay, ephemerals. Definitely getting rid of that. I wouldn't mind having the Mystic Shot, but I want I want some of you know creatures to play before Wraith Caller on turn four. This was not good getting these black spears. Yeah, this has not been this has not been good. Hey Krabby. Yeah, Mystic Shot would be nice. They'll never see us coming. Guess I should have just kept the Mystic Shot. And it's back. Uh, they just play Zed. I wanted to use it so I didn't waste my mana, but maybe I should have just passed. Okay, good. No Zed. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Oh no, I missed. We have a PNZ card on top, so we got a removal spell. Which that's not exactly what we need right now. All right, getting rid of these elusive units. Master. The big problem is if our opponent's going to start dropping Hecarim, they they get the attack token on turn six, so that means they get to attack with Hecarim first. It's a big deal. I have to wait before I get to attack with Hecarim. Bring back Hecarim. They're likely going to be able to bring back Hecarim as well. Okay, or not. Looks like they got the death mark combo.
Alright, so it didn't go super well for me. So now I'm out of Hecarums and I didn't even get to use either of these Glimpse Beyonds. They are not out of Hecarums. Doing this drain to just get a get a chump blocker. Join the conflagration. Bleh. All right, four and four. Lost the the Hecarim mirror. We were pretty slow out of the gates, having nothing. Turn one, two, or three. And they got me with that death mark. That's five. That's five five life linkers in the death mark. All right, gonna keep one Hecarim. I think we need to, you know, curve out into Hecarim. Yeah, Ice Kill, yeah, I'm... Um, yeah, I've switched over. Legends of Runeterra is an amazing game. It's a lot of fun to play. I wrote about why I like it more than Magic there. I know what lurks in the shadows. Stir out from the dark. And basically this game This game is just awesome. <clears throat> so spooky karma with thresh. No Glimpse Beyond had all those last games we didn't get to use. We got a pretty good hand. You know, good good battlefield position. Makes sense. Um, Master. Both of these can go upstairs. That's pretty nice. Blocks my 4 3. I, was, I wasn't really expecting them to have another piece of interaction there, but that was, that was pretty nice. You're welcome, Ice Kill. Oh, come on, we missed? I wasn't even planning on playing Hecarim next turn. I was planning on just doing this. Like, they kill one thing with Thresh, then we just attack in. And they can even block another thing, but we were going to do uh, 12 damage. Then we'd have these. But I guess, I guess they would have, like, removal anyway. Yes. 
So we'll play Hecarim. They don't have the mana for Vengeance. Just need to get our opponent in burn range. At three, six, eight, eight points of burn. Got to get him into burn range. Of course, they can have denies. So they play something that taps them out. We would have lethal. This is going to be difficult to survive for them. With six mana. Surprised they didn't do that before damage happened. Just one mana. Yeah, there we go. Finish it out. All right, five and four. We're going to play one more. Wait, did I get a reward thing? We earned a reward. We got a capsule. Let's crack it open. Get some commons. Ooh, it upgraded to a wild capsule. So we got all these uh, wild cards. Awesome. Got the upgrade. Valfies is good against their one, their two, one mana, two, one. I'm just gonna look for some different cards. Oh yeah, we got Rasa. We haven't, we haven't really Rasa'd anybody yet. There's the one mana, two, one. Well, they got a good curve over there. You're covered. Me, not so much. We're just sitting back trying to stay alive. Head to the base.
Get excited can help finish games out, but... Soldiers, to me. Ugh. This is not a great time for it. Come on. We fight for those who cannot. Crazy. Didn't draw a single creature under six mana. Even with mulliganing. All those cards. We mulliganed every card. All right, so we finished five and five with fearsome midrange. Um, still felt like a little bit too many spells. You know, at times there's just you know, so it's twenty two units, eighteen spells. There's just not a lot of. I'd have to say like Mark of the Isles was you know maybe my least favorite spell. Um, yeah, that was probably my least favorite spell. There's just not a lot of great creatures. Um, like, there's not, like, another really good fearsome creature to put in there. But it did seem like we could use another creature. But, of course, we'd want it to be... Um, is, is this thing... It's Allegiance, Summon of Mistraith. I guess we could maybe Chronicler of Ruin. We want it to be um, Shadow Isles. But it'd be good to have like one more one or two mana creature. But it's just not there. I guess we could play Shark Chariot. I mean, could play Hapless Aristocrat, but I don't really like that card. I think that card's very strong. I don't know. But yeah, I could see... did feel like we need, like, one more creature. <clears throat> right. It's so, like, we, we can't... We, it'd have to keep, stay Shadow Isles. Um, but that's the thing, is there's just not... There's not really a Shadow Isles creature that I want to play. I think our best options would be Hapless Aristocrat, Shark Chariot. Probably like those two. Or if we want to, because we have a lot of twos, if we want to make it like a three or a four, could play Scribe of Sorrows or Chronicler of Ruin. Those can kind of just gum up the board, though. I guess I'd rather have Chronicler of Ruin. But, um... I guess it's also possible to just replace... You know, like, get excited Thermogenic Beam with, like, one PNZ creature. Um, like a Boom Crew rookie. They can just attack and get get uh get the burn damage in with like a boom crew rookie i guess that's also possible or you could play b back alley barkeep that card's cool um but anyway so there we go there's here some mid-range uh only went 500 with it today but it still felt pretty good. I think that some, a couple of our losses we were un, a little unlucky in. But it does seem like we have a little bit too many spells. All right, but anyway, that's Fearsome Midrange. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave the comments. Let me know if you have an idea to maybe replace like Mark of the Isle or Vile Feast or um, which I guess Vile Feast makes a spider for Elise. So like Mark of the Isle or, or maybe the Get Excited Thermogenic Beam with something here. Um, you know, if you have a good idea of how to get like another creature in there, let me know. But anyway, that's it here for Fearsome Midrange. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.